Hey everyone, so today I am going to do a video about military ball attire, which I got a request from Nathan and Ashley08. So here you go girls, sorry this took a little bit longer than expected. I've been super crazy at work. Uh, but first, I'm gonna do a little rambling like I always do and uh, talk about my new little room that I'm in. Well, it's not new. This is um, my new office. Well, it's always been an office, but it's been our office slash storage room, which really meant it was a storage room that had a desk in it. <laughs> so um, since I got um, my new job and I've been working, I really needed a sp space that I can work and focus on working and not be in a distracting environment. So I decided like, hey, we have an office with a desk and I think I want to use that. So last weekend I took the time, I took basically all day Sunday and I cleaned this entire room and organized it. So now it is my new office and my new little recording studio. Um, I figured this is much better than sitting on my floor in my bedroom next to my bed. And the great thing about this is I have, a, I have a window right in front of me so I get the natural light and I could set up everything on my desk and it's just perfect. So, yay. And one more thing before we get into the video, I just went out to my mailbox and look what was in it. This adorable bracelet from Anthropology. This was actually a thank you present from my girlfriend. I helped her out, which was really easy I didn't do much and she sent me this like how freaking sweet is this and the funny thing is is I was already wearing these bracelets today so it like how perfect does that match all right so let's talk about military ball um I've been to two dinner experiences um one was a dining out, which was right before the guys deployed in 2010, and that was, dining outs are a little bit more casual. For ours, it was cocktail attire, so I just bought a cute little black dress. And everyone else had, you know, knee length or right above or below the knee length dresses. There were a few girls that wore long like formal prom dresses and they kind of looked out of place. You obviously can wear whatever you want but that just looked weird to me. So for dining outs and for like not as formal events, cocktail dresses are always the safe bet. Um, and now moving on to military ball. Now that attire is completely different. You know the guys usually dress in their blues or their formal uniforms, whatever military branch you, your spouse is in or you're in, Brian's in the army. So he wore his nice little uniform and I wore actually a dress that I wore that I had for my sister's wedding. It was my bridesmaid dress and it actually worked out really great because A, it matched, it matched him and B, I already had it and I was able to wear it again. So I was super excited. Um, it, it's from David's Bridal and I actually super love the dress. It's fantastic. So the proper etiquette is you wear something to cover your shoulders, um, but it was mid-July and I did not want to do that. So you, you should bring a shawl or something, but I was a bad girl and didn't. And there are a lot of girl, women that don't follow that rule, but the proper formal etiquette for that is you do wear something to cover your shoulders. As for shoes, um, I wore high heels for the cocktail hour and then right before we went to go sit down for dinner I actually switched into my like fancy flip flops which are actually okay because um, you couldn't see them under my dress but I obviously wanted to be more comfortable because after dinner I mean, dinner's a long, long time, but after dinner, you do dancing. So I kind of wanted to be a little more comfortable during that. Formal balls are usually, you wear longer dresses, you know, they're more ball gown style dresses. Um, but then again, I saw girls wearing completely 
different things from short little tutu dresses to you know the dresses with like the holes cut out everywhere and like the girls with the just the dress like part up here and then their midriff was like showing and then I don't know my whole thing is be elegant military balls are super fun if you know it is what you make of it and it can be scary but it is a great opportunity to meet other people like i met at our dining out before the deployment i met so many new women that i became really close with over the like deployment and at the ball obviously i got to meet a lot more brian soldiers that i had not met before and yeah it was just a really fun experience yeah, so just enjoy your time have a great great night and let me know how it goes hope this was helpful for you guys see you next time bye